Oh, no! This solar road, which cost the state 5 million euros, will be dismantled! Oh, no! Anyway, last week... You mean the one that was in Time magazine? The world's first solar road opens in France. The one kilometre long solar roadway opened by the French minister for silly walks here is going to be torn down. Oh, what a shame. I mean, it was in Wired magazine. The world's first solar panel road opens in French village. The French government wants to build a thousand kilometers of solar road in the next five years. Well, this was in 2016. So, um, um, yeah, that's been significantly more than five years. In fact, it's been almost eight years and they're removing it. <laughs> The one kilometre long route in Normandy is now covered with 2,800 square metres of solar panels. The road costs 5 million euros uh, to construct and will undergo a two year test period to see if it can generate enough energy to power street lighting in the small village. Well, did it? No. Two years later, it was an absolute fail. France's solar road was always a road to nowhere. And who could have predicted this? Oh, yeah, me. <laughs> And I did it eight years ago. French Watway solar roads busted. And then I went, then we went through the calculations like two years later. And sure enough, it was an epic fail. I mean, what were the final numbers on it? And it turns out when you run the numbers on it, it produced one third the capacity of an equivalent solar installation of that size for nine times the cost. And I think I was being incredibly generous. The road is an interesting concept and shows a move by the French government to support renewable energy sources. However, there are issues. Normandy is not exactly known for being particularly sunny. Oh no! <laughs> the region's political capital has just 44 days of strong sunshine a year. Oh. In 2018, there were reports that the yield of the roadway had fallen way below expectations. A section of road was reportedly replaced entirely. Also, leaves on the surface of the road created imbalances in the performance of the panels, which operate to their best with a uniform amount of light across their surface. You think? <laughs> this is why rooftop installs look to avoid shading from nearby trees and other obstacles. So back to this article in Automoto. Thanks for everyone who linked me in uh, to this article. It's in French, so it's been auto-translated. Resounding flop for the first solar road in the world, which will be dismantled in the coming weeks, only seven and a half years after the start of its creation. Oh no. It was developed by Colas Watway, who's a huge uh, French engineering road company. So this is the best of the best engineering solution for solar roadways possible. Um, <laughs> there's just no contest. Solar freaking roadways and all the solar freaking pathways and everything else, the big concrete slab ones. No, this was the best possible shot at solar roadways by one of the world's largest engineering road companies. And it epically Failed. On paper, it was going to provide energy to power the public lighting of a town of 5,000 inhabitants. For this project, the state will have paid 5 million euros out of its own pocket, which is not nothing, you think? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, seven and a half years ago, in the face of disappointing results, it was decided that it would be dismantled in the coming weeks. I'm surprised it took them this long to figure out. It, like, after it made, like, international headlines. It was covered everywhere in, like, 2019, two years later, that it had been an epic fail. And, uh, like, and apparently it was, they decided to leave it there. Oh, we need to get some more data out of it. Oh, it could be good. We need it for data gathering. They plan to have over a thousand kilometers by 2020. Um, <laughs> it's 2024. So in 2019, they actually redid it because they were all broken and bugging all these panels because cars were driving over them. Who knew? And <laughs> they actually redid, apparently, a 400 metre section. According to calculations carried out by local magazine Le Perch, the section would have produced a total of 366 megawatt hours or 61 kilowatt hours. That doesn't make sense. Um, it must be like per day or something. And enough to power only three homes. Ridiculous in French. How do you say ridiculous in French? Ridicule. 
added to this are other problems. Constantly under construction and preventing two uh, Tuvirians, that's what they call themselves, sorry I'm butchering that pronunciation, from accessing the RN12. This project was often criticised. Money thrown out the window as a resident of the town claims. Not according to the mayor who affirms that the community of communes never spent that the local mayor said, wasn't our money. <laughs> Don't blame us. We weren't that stupid. <laughs> the French minister for silly walks just came in and said, we're laying down this solar road and we're paying for it and you're going to take it up the clacker. Business Insider 2019. Photos show the world's first solar road that's turned out to be a colossal failure because it's falling apart and doesn't generate enough energy. <laughs> that's what happens when you drive on top of solar panels. Even if they're like stick-on resin and they're being, <laughs> being tested, it's like, no. In July, a French daily newspaper published a story saying the longest solar road in the world had failed. It's neither economically viable or energy efficient. Who could have told you that? <laughs> Back of the envelope calculations. Less than three years since the road opened, it's become cracked and damaged. Part of the roads has been demolished because they weren't salvageable. <laughs> energy targets were never hit. You've got to remember, this is Coal S. Watway, the, one of the biggest road engineering firms on the planet. Right. And and it's, it's an excellent like if you're going to do solar roads, this is how I would have done it. Right. With the like little stick on resin things over the top. So they're more easily uh, replaceable and there's no glass or whatever. It's just like a, a nice resin and things like that. But you cannot beat the laws of physics, Captain. When you put them an A flat on the ground, when you drive and then when you drive on top of them, doesn't matter how good your resin is, all the dirt and grime and crap and everything's just going to be embedded in the panels and they're still going to get micro cracks in them and they just no 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 even at its peak the road was only producing half of the expected energy because engineers didn't take into consideration those rotting leaves darn those rotting leaves <laughs> so hats off to the french minister for silly walks here i think she's gone been long gone um and not shortly after this i don't think that she actually went anyway <laughs> the road to the future is the big dog and pony show back in 2016 it was complete and epic failure look the roads in the middle of nowhere here and they still had problems with leaves i mean maybe some uh, we'll go have a tour in a minute but maybe maybe further up here it's like leaves just blow in and crap and grime and all sorts of things and then you're going to get the weight of the car and it's going to get micro cracks in your solar panels and god knows what it was a bold move beginning a solar panel trial in normandy france <laughs> 44 days of strong sunshine and thunderstorms also reportedly broke solar panel in the road <laughs> So it was supposed to make 150,000 kilowatt hours per year, but it only made 80,000 in 2018 and then dropped to 40,000 in 2019. Wow. Diminishing returns. So once again, one of the biggest and best road construction companies in the world, and even this resin construction, getting away from that glass rubbish, um, they still came loose and broke into little pieces after driving on top of them. And I think from memory in a previous uh, video, I had noted somewhere in some article that the road noise from them, you had to actually, they had to limit the speed on them because the road noise from all of the broken panels or whatever, <laughs> were it like broken sections, where it was all causing too much noise. So they had to actually limit the speed or something like that. Unbelievable. Come on. And apparently they couldn't handle local tractors going down the road either. <laughs> it's in the French countryside. And this is interesting. Whatway's managing director, because this is from Colas, the Colas Whatway Project's managing director told Le Mans that it would not be going to market. Not be going to market. This is in 2019. Our system is not mature on long distance traffic, he said. The company would focus on creating electricity for smaller things like CCTV cameras and lighting bus shelters. And sure enough, it's, it's still on their website. Right? It's still on their website. Look at this. Showing big road sections, even though... <laughs> The director of what Colas Watway himself has said that it's a no-go. <laughs> so it's still there <laughs> because it's low carbon and I don't know, we might be able to milk some more of the government teat somewhere because they've installed these like around the planet. I'm sure that in recent years, I, I forget all the solar roadways videos I've done, but in recent years, yeah, uh, they've been still installing these things. So as long as governments are willing to throw taxpayer money at them, they'll, they'll keep making this crap.
So here's this article, linked in uh, La Perch. We expected to encounter problems. <laughs> to the solar road, not such a broad idea. Six years after a laboratory in the heart of the village, which raises questions. So this is from uh, September 22. So this is where we've got our uh, data from the last data here and you can probably just read that unfortunately i can't expand that is that the current power and that's the current daily one maybe and then that's the kilowatt hours as that month and is that total yeah kilowatts kilowatt hours then megawatt hours and then uh equivalent uh, Paris volts. Uh, I can't translate that. There you go. Since 2016, the road has produced 366 megawatt hours, 61 megawatt hours per year, according to Total Energies. A hundred square meter house inhabited by five people consumes around 47 kilowatt hours daily. That's a lot. Um, so, oh yeah, but, uh, I don't know. It gets cold in Normandy, does it? And they're using lots of aircon or something, but. That is a lot. And if I ask the racist uh, Google AI here, uh, the average French household consumes uh, 4,760 kilowatt hours of electricity per year. Get the confuser out here. That's about 13 kilowatt hours per day. But that would include like apartments and everything else, I guess. So, and I don't know. Let's split it down the middle and say 25 kilowatt hours uh, per year average for uh, the average house. Um, uh, multiply by 365 days a year. That's uh, 9.125 megawatt hours uh, per year for the average house. So divide that into 61 megawatt hours uh, per year since this thing has been in production. You're only talking less than seven houses, like six and a half houses average, you know, like just round it to like five houses or something like that, <laughs> that you go into power from with this five million euros. Unbelievable. So how much does a solar farm cost? Well, I got this from Market Watch here. Uh, several factors can influence the cost, obviously. Um, a one megawatt uh, solar farm uh, costs between $890,000 to $1 million. That'd be US dollars. So yeah, an average price of like a dollar per watt. Um, <laughs> so for the 5 million euros, and I assume euros and dollars are roughly equivalent, the 5 million uh, euros could have uh, made a five megawatt, five megawatt, not megawatt hours, five megawatt, like peak uh, power production, um, solar farm. <laughs> And based on my original uh, data that I must have originally got from the uh, install there, their system is 336 kilowatt total system <laughs> size. So 0.33 megawatt for the same price that could have installed a five megawatt system not 0.33 so my original thing from six years ago had it at nine times the cost but now of course i calculated at 15 times the cost because it's 0.33 megawatts system versus a five megawatt system that you could have installed for the same price so that's 15 times more <laughs> so they could have got a 15 times bigger solar farm for the same cost. <laughs> what an abs and it wouldn't still be working. It'd still producing, be producing at least, like eight years later, at least probably 95% of the output of, <laughs> come on. In fact, but this one, solar roadways is being torn up because it's a dumb idea to drive cars on solar panels. <sighs> so let's take one final look at Colas Watway in France, the world's biggest solar installation in this nice little French village here. Look at it, it looks absolutely lovely, right? And here it is, here it is, the start of the one kilometer, or is it now 400 uh, meter solar road, <laughs> solar freaking roadway. So I've got a couple of car dealerships here, and look at this, uh, there are some nice what are those, soccer fields over there, and here it is. Oh, look, whoa, there, there's the sign. There's the sign. This data's from June 2019. Which, which one's killer one? Oh, no, is that a one in front? Oh, no, it, it could be the camera, actually. It could be the camera, like the rolling shutter on that, not getting all the images, perhaps. But anyway, <laughs> let's go. Let's go for a, uh, just a trip down. Look, lovely. It goes in front, in front of someone's house here. I wonder if they had a say in it. Look at that. Lovely. Right. And they had to limit the noise. <laughs> 50, 50 kilometers an hour speed limit, is it? And you can see how the uh, Google stitching hasn't done a good job here, but you can see how dirty it is. Look how dirty these things are. Like, it's just, it's terrible, Muriel. Look all the way along. 
It's just like, and they tried to put these wanky things on the side, like, oh, yes, you're, you know, uh, producing magic. And is that one of the, uh, like, inverter boxes there? It's got uh, tele- wireless telemetry on it. But, yeah, look at this. I mean, <laughs> like if Lee's were a problem out here, right? <laughs> Oh, it's just unbelievable. This is just, oh my god! And you know, and and pole, and you got the wires. So I don't know which side of the sun does it come up. I'm not actually uh, sure, but anyway, they just put it in this little lovely French village, and apparently everyone hated it. And it was it's just dirty as buggery. Look at it. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is just terrible. And look, <laughs> we've got shading. We've got trees. Why would you? Pick. Couldn't they find any other part of France that like didn't have any trees on it? This is just ridiculous. There we go. You can see here. Here's the trench along the side where all the cables must be running. And this is like one of the joins here. So they've got like a little pit. So they must have like, you know, 50 meter sections. Or, oh, no. Look. So how long's that section there? Every, I don't know, 10 or 20 meters or something. It looks like they've got these little pits. And look at it. Look at why. Why? There's big trees here. Nobody thought this would be a problem. <laughs> They've got some cows over there. And there it is, right? There's the end of it there. So I'm not sure what happened there. But uh, there you go. <laughs> a hearty salute <laughs> to the one kilometre. The world's best solar roadway. It's just an epic fail. And they're finally going to rip it up. Their residents have had enough and going, no, just rip this stupid thing out. It's ridiculous. It doesn't produce anything. It costs 5 million euros and it's a complete and epic fail. Oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway, if you like that video, please give it a big thumbs up. And as always, discuss down below. Catch you next time. Oh, and because everyone will ask, what happened to solar freaking roadways? The OG of solar roadways. Well, I believe they're still going. Remember, they were founded in 2006 by our good friends, the Brusors, Scott and Julie Brusor, 2006. And they got their first grant in 2009. And they're still going as of December 2023. <laughs> Merry Christmas, etc. Sign up for the quarterly newsletter and um, shareholders and other others who have emailed because they do have shareholders because I've done a video on how they raised like $2.4 million on start engine in equity funding so they've they still got money so a hearty salute to the 18 year grift <laughs> it's solar roadways unbelievable <laughs>